uh, many of you helped with that. Uh, we were extremely successful in that endeavor. In only 67 days, in the dead of winter, all over the state, we were able to collect more than 255,000 signatures, many, many more than 161,000 required, uh, and turned them in March 27, 2013, uh, amid much celebration uh, to the Secretary of State's office. So we were very happy that the citizens had spoken up and saved the wolf. Sadly, only uh, a couple of weeks later, Senator Casperson introduced a second bill, uh, SB 288, which was basically designed as an end run around our referendum. And what that bill would do would allow the Natural Resources Commission, again, this governor-appointed body of bureaucrats, to designate game species on their own. They don't need the legislature to vote on it and pass it to tell them who is a game species. They can just decide that on their own. And if they make that decision, the citizens of the state, the voters of the state, can't do anything about it because that sort of a decision cannot be overturned by a referendum. So again, we fought it very hard. We had a rally at the Capitol. Uh, the speakers came from all over the state. John Busetich came from Michigan Tech to speak at the Capitol and to speak with legislators, uh, people from all over. Uh, fought the legislation very hard. Again, the tribal representatives also spoke out, but sadly the governor did sign it uh, on May uh, 8th, May 9th, I guess it was May 9th, and uh, it became law. So, not long after that, um, the secretary of, or the board of canvassers announced that our signatures for our first referendum had been certified and approved, and we would be on the ballot for November 2014 to have the citizens vote on whether the wolf should be a game species in Michigan. Um, at that point, that bill was put on hold. Uh, it was tabled. It could not be acted upon because it was going to be the subject of a referendum. And so the wolf, once again, became a non-game species in Michigan. We went back, back to where we started because that bill was on hold. But as predicted, not long after that, the NRC used that newfound power from SB 288, which became Public Act 21, and voted on their own to make the wolf a game species, and they authorized a hunting season to begin this fall, November 15th to December 31st, to kill wolves in three separate management zones, zones of the UP. So, after much discussion and, um, and uh, polling of, of uh, people around the state, we decided we're going to do a second referendum, and we're going to repeal that law too. So we have started collecting signatures, and uh, Ellie will explain more about how we're going to actually accomplish that, but it's going to be much the same. We just have a little more time, and not in the dead of winter, fortunately, uh, until early March 2014 to collect signatures. And then on the November 2014 ballot, there will be two referenda to vote no on both of those and return the wolf to the protections that they had before this all happened.